Hmm, daily runtime. Oh, it's our old friend, the blue babby. What a cla- oh, what's this? Some sort of theme day today, huh? Freaking... Okay, telekinesis. Gorgeous. Um... I don't know why there's this catalyst here. No, that was random. That was from the restock. But... I think you're a little late for Earth Day there. Like, over a month. <laughs> so I'm not sure what this is. What? We have it. We gotta deal with it. And... God has blessed us with item rooms on this one. Unlike some other dailies. Oof. So that's quite the relief. Now telekinesis here. I don't know how good it'll be early game, but... This thing lets us deflect those bullets. We can become quite the defensive fortress here. It's basically bullet immunity as far as I can tell. From what little I've used it. Extremely impressive item. And I'm glad I made it into the game from a booster pack. You know, why am I so intent on popping these poops? When I have my own that I could just generate with the poop. And the reason is because I already have telekinesis now. So I gotta take the poops, poops where I can get them. That's all there is to it, also. On the other hand, it's hard mode. I probably don't want to distract myself with the menial poop popping endeavors. Either that or it's one of those runs where you just have to give up entirely on boss rush. <laughs> Nothing like time-gated thresholds in games like this. Mm -mm. Alternatively, we have restock. We stock. <laughs> it's we stock season. But in all seriousness, that could probably enable an easy Mama Mega grab. <laughs> he is a god. Transpire across the spikes like it ain't no thing. Yeah, you can tell it's hard mode. I mean, look at how sprawling this basement is. That is just nuts. This is worth exploding. Let's see what else we can grab out of this. <laughs> Little baggy. Oh, that is cute. Please get out of the item pool as fast as possible. I do not want all objects to become pills. It makes sense thematically to have a counterpart to um, the starter deck, but yikes. Not the best thing in practice, you know? There's little advantage to be had by carrying two pills simultaneously. Big freaking whoop. And now there's also two methods that you can carry two pills or cards together. Starter deck, you can get two cards at a time. Pretty nice, because all pills are out of the game. And now there's also uh, deep pockets as well as, what was it, polydactyly? Freaking phalanges, whatever the heck that is. Some finger-related item. Once you grab plenty of objects. Still not sure why they're in the boss pool, but... Boss item pool is more for, you know, DPS. You're aching for some damage. That's where they can provide. Oh my goodness, Black Widow. You've got to be joking! Not a big fan of this Black Widow, no sir. Thank you for spawning creep instead of spiders, alright? I do not undervalue this commitment. Okay. Oh, you could have crushed that spider. Would have loved that. Thank you! Perfect move. Excellent choice. Another soul heart for me. And we don't have any bombs. Let's just go. We could theoretically take... Well, almost. Two devil deals. On this floor. I'm a little excited for that. It's not often that you have this much HP with the old blue babber here. Triple question marks, but uh... That's his technical name. I don't like to 
sully him with that name, though, because there's a pill in the game that's also called triple question marks, and that's just the worst thing in the game. Arguably. In my opinion. Gaining Curse of the Maze is not something you want to happen, ever. Teleporting around all willy-nilly like you're freaking a wizard going wrong? No thanks. Unless it's useless, I should probably stick to the callus. At least I don't have to worry about people's creep with this callus. Hasn't been an issue yet. Could be, though. Feet feel stronger, and they are stronger. This is a game about placebos. Because it all takes place inside this boy's little mind. Excuse me. I'd like to gain passage into your meaty flesh zone. That sounded extremely lewd. I don't mean it that way. I just want to rupture your body. That also sounded extremely lewd. I don't know. I intended to penetrate your flesh? No, that's not correct either. Kind of at a loss here. I want to kill you? A little too direct, if you ask me. There are a lot of tinted rocks out here. And yet here we are with no freaking bombs. What is the deal, hmm? There's one bomb available. Could be worth a shot. Get a bomb for three cents, effectively, with this. Alternatively, there may be a secret room. That's a very, very viable spot for a secret room. And what about this one? And what about this one? Yeah, definitely not. So, we know where to go. We know who to call. I'd love the cash injection, but I can't exactly do that. Oh, now you mixed this around, huh? Well, now it's basically confirmed. That is indeed the secret room. Got my money back. Can buy another bomb. Fancy that, hmm? And so the cycle continues. Can get into our curse room for free. Probably the best idea here. We got one black card out of it. So we got, um... I don't know, one bomb on discount, effectively, for one black heart. Fair trade, indeed, but... Probably could have spent those bombs on something a little bit better. Like that chest, for instance. Alright, let's go to the southernmost room. Check for some coins. You're really gonna put this room right there? Come on! All right. Nickel or dime me. Not a nickel, not a dime. But good effort. Good effort. Oh, five cents. He has done it. We should definitely check that chest there. Six cents. More. Yeah, this seems like one of those runs where you have to be pretty strategic with your decisions. Like, uh, that right there is peak strategy, you know? That's what we call good damage. Some tricks of the trade for you. So many tinted rocks that I could use. Oh, I need two bombs, huh? Well, that's not happening. Absolutely not. This, however, this golden chest, very viable. Probably the best decision one could possibly make. I'm going to leave this floor, hopefully with my dignity intact. Be gone, torsos, please. I need maximum focus here, okay? This is a pretty stressful room. Two monsters, a little more formidable than you might think with base damage. Okay, I caught one of those. That's pretty fun. Okay, no you don't. 
No, you cannot take my damage away from me. Well, actually, that would be nice. No, you cannot administer damage onto me. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Alright. There it is. Latch key and a soul heart. You're too kind to me. Goathead and Whore of Babylon. With HP to spare. Okay. I just gulped the, um... Whatchamacallit? The callus, yes. Well, we are leaving this floor... Equipped well physically, but there's a distinct lack of bombs here. You get to really kill that portal? You're gonna deny me that portal kill? That goes on my permanent record, you know. That's an yet another portal that has evaded me. Those insidious little portals think they can despawn before, before I kill them. Make my freaking appearance to kill ratio be slightly less closer to the ideal of one. Makes me look like a very, very sloppy individual. I don't appreciate that. Please. He's too fast. His aimless AI is so unpredictable. At that speed. Okay. Plan C, huh? I'll take it just so it goes away for all of eternity. Like, please, thanks. Okay, that thing has been ruptured. Goodbye, host. Oh, think you can spawn a freaking pooter in my general area, huh? Not on my watch. Ooh, ooh, okay, let's do it. Swallowed penny it is, hmm? These might take a little while to pop. I'm thankful for not having base damage, though. Okay, well, one down. Congratulations. Two, three, four. I need you to be popped as well. Coming along steadily. Mmm, eliminated. And now they're gonna put five of those here. Five of the old leech, maggot, whatever they are. Officially dubbed chargers. Makes sense, that's what they do. Good catch! That almost eluded me. Alright. Ivy bag. Could be useful. You know, if I had red hearts. Ah, <sighs> just, just a little salty. Or freaking blue baby. Excellent. I um, need to review protocol for that room again. I know you can do that without taking damage very easily. Just gotta remember the timings, that's all. They're synchronized exactly so that you can just barely get in there. Okay, number two. Appetizing. Love the infinite bombs. Promise of that. Jeez! Cut me some freaking slack, huh? You're gonna give me claustrophobia. Stop dodging my every bullet, too. Yikes. You guys are so obese. How can you be so swift in the air? According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a fat bat should be able to fly. A fat bat does not give a heck about our human scientists, no sir. You know you're in a not very good position when Larry Jr. is your primary threat. Eliminated. Just a matter of popping these boys. Cracking open a cold one with the boys. In this situation, the cold one is me. And they are the boys. Not the place you want to be. Then who is actually the person cracking open the cold one? I don't know, you, the viewer? That spirit heart. Mighty appetizing. Going to have to think about it. Oh, goodness. Okay. It's either do or die with that soul heart. Unless this poop wants to oblige. 
Nope. Mega fatty. Oh, you are a fun little boy. Let me spawn with a dip to boot, hmm? Listen, Mega Fatty, I don't have time to deal with your obesity. Yep, I used that word twice on the same floor. What are some good synonyms for that? It's a medical condition, there's not really synonyms. Please! More hesitation with your short hops, okay? It's quite unnerving to see this man just kind of blast over to me. Oh! I uh, physically shook in my chair there. <laughs> Not a pleasant experience. Okay, Krampus, listen. I don't have time for your nonsense, so please... Refrain from rotating, okay? That's all I ask. Okay, well, you rotated, but it was in a very respectful way. Thank you. Okay, now that... Stretching it. Avoidable? Yes. Healthy on the heart? Absolutely not. Okay. He is deceased. It's freaking Krampus' head. I have two bombs now. I'm gonna take this. Thank you. Thank you! Pleasantly surprised. Oh, man. Okay. What to do now? I should leave. I should. But I have a morbid curiosity to continue. I've taken number two. In what may be the most lethal decision of all time. Maybe there's a magical mushroom in store for us. 16 minutes caves one. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that boss rush is not attainable in our current state. Oh my goodness. This was a good detour. I may just sacrifice telekinesis for this. Absolutely, and let me pop my golden key into each of these. I'm very sorry, Telekinesis. You helped very nicely against those monstros. But it's time we move on. More bomb flies. Curse room, huh? We're almost there. Just a couple! We will not speak of that again. Let me just meditate in my own, uh, my own incompetence, alright? Just a couple, just a couple of seconds, that's all I ask. Alright. One of these is gonna have freaking... Able or some nonsense in there. Okay, Fate's Reward. Close. A lot better than expected. Bye-bye. Don't want to risk it with them again. Absolutely not. I have infinite bombs. Please come back here. Check that chest. Peep it. Crack that wide open. With the boys. I now have a boy that I can crack this open with. That's pretty good, huh? And a very nice yield as well. That was risky, but paid off. Fart! Clear the area. Take caution. A pill. How promising. Buy this, get the heck out. User freaking forget me now, alright? Luck up. Thank you for that. Should I go to the curse room? Probably. Probably. I have all the time in the world at this point. Love some steam sail action to really... really get everything cranking, you know? Really set off this restock. The world. Visibility is mine. 
and mine alone. I have established a monopoly over the concept of sight. Do not crack me open. This is horrible. This is a very, very bad time to have Are You a Wizard? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and claim that right now. Yikes. There goes that freaking. Oh, it's Caves XL now, huh? But yeah, there goes that freaking curse room. Would have been mighty nice to have. Okay, it's number two time, let's go. Bomb directly into his presence. Blast him out of the area. There it goes. That one is down, and that one's down. Excellent performance. Explode this. Free money for myself. As long as I don't irresponsibly damage myself with this number two. I have to be at the utmost awareness. Thank you. A little humility never hurt nobody, hmm? There goes another one. Extreme caution, okay. Take the rune sack, please. Take my rune sack, please. <laughs> Keeps dropping these ruins. I'm not even asking for them. Didn't drop one there, but... That's okay, Rune Sack. You can take as long as you need. All those are fly mulligans, huh? That, my life flashed before my eyes. Having number two with one HP, not a pleasant experience. Would like some enhancements, stat. Almost ready. Do not hold the fire button for longer than the exact amount of seconds. You are a golden god, Runebag. I knew this would happen, and still I am the happiest man alive. That Dagos gave us one soul heart. Just enough to put us in a more comfortable area. I cannot express my gratitude anymore. It is beautiful. Fart! Give me the money. Mmm, car battery with no items. Sure. Steam sale, please. I know the half cent, half price soul heart. Something I should not refuse. Little Baggy is back with a vengeance. Huh. <laughs> Crooked penny, huh? Fancy that. Still no steam sale. I can wait all day. Mom's key. Alright. That is equally as good. Please. Be mindful of your personal space, spiders. Wow, that mushroom withstood my bomb onslaught. Very impressive. Check for second secret rooms. It's just too suspicious. Thank you, Fate's Reward. Okay. Almost lost track of that bomb there. That butt bomb. Okay. Things have gone by just fine. There have been no incidences with butt bombs. Nothing fatal. No deadly runs for this daily run. My gastrointestinal tract is an A-plus health. Okay, this is now certifiably a one run. If I can get a charge up. <laughs> Yera, if we find a soul heart, I am using it. Tech X here. 
one of the greatest items in the game, can single-handedly carry your entire run. Don't have damage? No problem. It's up there with Mom's Knife. Radicalizes the way you play. In the best possible way. No way, dude. Yes way. I make no hyperbole. This is the greatest item in the game. Okay. I mean, that's a little subjective, but it's extremely good. There's no debate in that regard. Each tick, each frame, I do believe, that the game runs, this deals your tier damage to the enemy whenever they are touching the outer ring. It's utterly fantastic. You can just see the results right here. I think I might actually take Gimpy, though. If I had another IV bag, this would be a good opportunity. Sort of. Luck is not quite high enough. Gimpy's luck, I believe, approaches a 50% chance to drop the soul hearts as your luck approaches infinity. That's the limit. 50%. Not bad. Certainly could be better. Perks. Well, I was going to talk about a self-sacrifice room that could let us teleport further along, but I realize now that I have smelted the callus trinket. Gulped that down. Right? I believe that's what happened. How else would I have swallowed Penny? I didn't just replace it, no sir. So now we are stuck with the inability to use self-sacrifice rooms whatsoever. Not good. But not the worst thing in the world. There may just be some AWAS that we can use. Blank card AWAS. Blank card black room. Okay, well I'll take the HP. I'll take the black room. 25 <laughs> Rag Mega once again. You'd think they would try to prevent that, but guess not. If I didn't have Tech X, I would probably just die. Succubus, welcome to the party. Um, yes, I should do this. I think it should be obvious that I just am not allowed to touch any spikes from here this point onwards. Fart! I'm also not allowed to touch my own butt bombs. Once again, I have placed myself in a very precarious situation. Okay, that's a red heart. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, I may have just hacked myself up. The timing here? Not very good. Boss rush, miles behind us. Six minutes to be precise. Yeah, miles measures distance, not uh, not time. Remember that now. <laughs> light ears. Why do they call them light ears if they're not time? Because it's the amount of distance that light travels in a year. It's pretty obvious once you think about it. Just ponder the name a little bit. That's all that's there. It's self-explanatory. It's a light year. It's a light times a year. That's how it works. There's an entire rag- Okay, can we just talk about this? There have been two rag men and two rag megas on this floor alone. I'll take Mom's eyeshadow, now we have beautiful pink lasers. What's not to love? So back to the shop I go. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Hmm. I'm afraid Mom's key is out of the picture for us. We need a spirit soul heart, whatever the heck you want to call it. And we need it now. Okay, I saw that there. I realize this may not have been the best choice. But, well, there we have it. Ace of Spades, fantastic. Which room has the most hearts in it? Just go for this one. Take this black rune. Go to the challenge room. There might be something there that's worth sucking. 
I have a swallowed penny, but it's not gonna make me that much money real quick. That would have been a good room to, uh, to, you know, endeavor to suck. Three hearts. Very appetizing. Hagalogs. Could this have any use? Ooh! That was not my fart, mind you. That was left over from a previous fart. It's a holdover. Again, on the off chance that we find a mushroom. This would be worth the while. Okay, yes, that was a gulp that happened to the callus. No self-sacrifice room, even if I could physically afford it. So here we are, approximately 15 minutes behind schedule. And incidents of Bomba Mega. Bomba Mega? Hey, Bomba Mega. Yes, Isaac from the Binding of Isaac series. Uh, spell I Cup. Holy cojones! Like this post to die instantly. I don't see any charm shots. I should stop worrying about charm shots and ponder my own mortality. You know? I got damage from Void Rage, yeah. The damage is ever so slightly better. Very good. If we find a Soul Heart, we should double it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts to it. Even if we miss out on breaking the game. Immediate survival comes first. Breaking the game, why am I even thinking about that? It's not the time, nor place. Mr. Boom! Come along, friend. This was Hagalaz, was it not? Yeah. Well, let's check that room. That big ol' Waluigi room. Nothing. Okay. That's that, then. Oh, thank you, Ansu's. We have our second secret room confirmed. That big ol' faded question mark in the corner there. That's our second secret room. Yes, it is. Those tend to be a pretty healthy source of black hearts, mostly. Black hearts, yes. It's very nice to be dispatching of these enemies that could potentially leap on top of us at a moment's notice. Within a moment. Goodbye. <laughs>